All right, I want to introduce my brand new course. It is called the QA Guide to Web Application Testing for Beginners. So what this course is, is very, very high level uh, introductory course to anyone who wants to include software testing into their development lifecycle, or if you are looking for getting into software testing as a career. So let me quickly go over what is covered in the course. I'm going to do a brief introduction of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript because I am a strong believer that in order to test something well, you have to understand how the application works from the ground up. So that's why that's included there. If you already know these things, then you can skip on by, but uh, they're there for your reference. All right, and then from there, we're going to go into uh, writing test cases. We're going to spend a lot of time here because this is uh, a lot of what a test engineer is going to be doing. And I kind of give you insight of how I test applications uh, within this section. So uh, we're going to go over uh, what test cases are, uh, test case management tools, and we're going to actually use a, fr a free online tool to do that. It's called QA Touch. And then uh, we're going to go through several cycles of writing test cases and for different uh, web pages. All right. And then the next section is going to be over bugs. So uh, before we actually start doing testing of the web applications, I wanted to do an overview of what bugs are or defects uh, so that you know, because once you start testing, you're going to find things. And uh, I wanted to give you clarity on what you should do when, once you find those things all right and then the next section here is uh is our testing segment so this is uh where you're going to spend a lot of time uh, doing actual testing so i walk you through as much as i can but i'm going to leave a lot up to you uh, to test because i'm pretty sure you don't want to watch me repetitively test things over and over again but i will give you a good starting point and i will kind of show you where i went with uh, things uh, when i did my testing and and the bugs that i filed all right and then i wrap up the course with just some uh, interview questions that i find very common for uh, entry-level qa engineers uh, it's not going to be a comprehensive list of what a interview might include but these are the most common questions for anybody starting as as like a very beginner level uh, software test or qa engineer all right so i hope you find the course interesting and go ahead and sign up uh, i look forward to seeing your feedback once you've uh, completed the course